circles and ellipses. Go into my documentation. I search circle. Cool. I see I need three numbers. If I come into here, circle, x, y, and diameter. So I'm going to go circle. Let's say 100, 100, 200. So what this is saying, oh, let's do this nicer. Let's put you over 300. So you're not so here and let's make you a bit bigger. Cool. What's happening here is I'm saying the center of my circle is at the x coordinate 300 so it's 300 to the right and it's at a y coordinate 300 300 up it has a diameter of 200 so the size of the circle so if i make this two you'll barely see it if i add another circle copy paste add another circle and i make it 2000 it's going to take over the whole screen you can't see anything else 200 that seems a little bit 20 that's too small let's do 200 two circle 200 there okay circle 200 if we change the order quick hack here because this circle is being drawn on top of this circle is being drawn on top of this circle so we can't actually see these two circles if i want to see these circles i just need to do this and now i can see that circle i still can't see this one but i wouldn't be able to see it in any case because it's tiny it's like oh you can see it it's so small circles done ellipses search ellipse um okay there, ellipse. So it's like a circle, but stretched. And so it's going to be the exact same thing. We're going to have an X, we're going to have a Y. Now, instead of a diameter, I'm going to say it's width, so how, how far left to right does it go? And it's height, how far up to down does it go? So get rid of these. Ellipse. And I'm going to say an X, 341, Y, 219.78. And my width is 250, my height is 123. Cool, we get an ellipse and it's stretched out. And so you can use circles and ellipses for all your needs of circular objects. Yeah. <laughs>